Hello all, good morning. This is Amol Khedkar. Today I'll be talking about the topic that you see on your screen, which says US debt to China, how much, reasons why, and what if China sells. This is an article from The Balance, which is uh, a pretty reputed magazine for financial articles. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I upload these kind of uh, finance and uh, geopolitical and uh, you know global markets news on a daily basis and so you don't want to miss out on any of that so let's get started you have heard many people say that uh, china owns america so how true is that and you know how exactly does china own the us uh, i'll just try to you know explain it to you because uh, it, it is true that china owns uh, like a whole part of uh, america you know uh, that's not entirely false so how exactly does you know china do that so uh, why china is america's biggest banker uh, you know so that's that's exactly what this article is all about the us debt to china was 1.09 trillion through february 2020 okay that's more than 15% of the 7.26 trillion in treasury bills notes and bonds held by foreign countries okay so how this works is that US debt is owned by foreign countries and China is the biggest contributor to that. Okay, So you cannot just entirely discount that because 15% of the foreign debt right now uh, is owned by China. So if China starts selling the treasury bills that it has of America, the US dollar value will collapse. Okay, So that's exactly what they mean. Uh, when when people say that China owns America, so that is absolutely true. There's nothing wrong in that. China has the second greatest amount of U.S. debt held by a foreign country. Japan tops the list, on, owing almost 1.27 trillion. Okay, so Japan has more debt than China, but to be honest, Japan does not have the kind of leverage that China has because China is an export-oriented economy. Okay, it is in China's favor to just keep its econ uh, keep its currency as low as possible. You know, they want to depreciate their currency as opposed to the US dollar uh, so that, you know, they can export as many things as possible to the rest of the world. OK, Japan does not do that. OK, Japan is a developed economy. Japan is way, way advanced than America in many in many respects. You know, Japan is like uh, 10 years ahead of the rest of the world. OK, Japan is very advanced country. OK, so China, on the other hand, is an export oriented economy. So that's why they want to keep their currency low. The yuan has to be has to be low so that uh, the export market can, you know, uh, flourish in China. So this is just an just a pie chart of who exactly owns the foreign debt, uh, US foreign debt. OK, so Japan, China, then you have Brazil, UK, uh, Luxembourg, Switzerland. So what that means is that they have a whole lot of treasury bills. OK, so the US treasury treasury just, you know, uh, sends out like it prints uh, literally they print the treasury bills and then many countries own those bills because when they, you know, export the commodities or products to us then us pays them in us dollars right it does not so if china exports like say cars to america then america is going to pay china in dollars it's not going to pay them in yuan that's what it means china's economy china has reduced its holding of us debt since 2011 when it held 1.3 trillion so why is that uh, you know because china wants to make its own currency as the global currency okay it is taking steps to make its currency the yuan transition to a global currency exactly what i said right it wants to make yuan as the global currency to do that china had to loosen its peg to the dollar so right now you know all the currencies in the world are pegged to the dollar okay they are pegged to the us dollar what does it mean that they are pegged to the dollar that you know they are going to rise and fall as the dollar rises and falls okay that's why the us dollar is so important okay and because after the second world war us uh, said that every currency in the world has to be packed to the dollar otherwise you know we are not going to give aid to all the countries so again like just another example of how us has you know blackmailed the entire world many times uh, so far that made the yuan more attractive to forex traders in global markets uh, absolutely true so there are foreign exchange traders so forex traders in a sense like foreign exchange traders uh, they got attracted to the yuan because uh, you know china said that yuan is not packed to the dollar right now and now you know they want to uh, make yuan as the global currency and not the dollar china's economic growth also has been slowing down since trump was elected president and began a trade war as china's exports declined it is less able to invest in us treasury this is also absolutely true okay you really have to understand how the trade war works okay then you can get and get a feeling of what exactly you know people are trying to say in here so the reason why i've started this youtube channel is because you know 
I really want you guys to understand the news between the lines because unless and until you do that, you're not going to understand any of this, okay? And um, only when, uh, you know, some somebody explains it, uh, these kind of things to you in a simple language, uh, you know, you tend to understand it. Uh, and that's why I don't use any sort of like hi-fi words into it because I know that, you know, these kind of things can be understood by, by a normal person in simple language. And that's why I do all the research and I make uh, videos that are, you know, pretty easy to understand and that can reach you guys and uh, that you can understand you know even even if you, you are like a layman okay i'm not saying everybody is a layman that is watching watching my channel but all i'm saying is that i make sure that the person who is watching my channel um you know they might not understand any of the financial terms and that's why i try to explain each and every small thing okay so uh, china also is liberalizing its control of the yuan also called renminbi okay china's currency is also called renminbi okay rmb uh, and also it's called yuan it has opened yuan trading centers in Lo london and frankfurt london and frankfurt are the two biggest financial centers in europe okay one is in uh, uk and other one is in germany okay frankfurt is a financial market frankfurt is the biggest financial market in europe okay then um, london is definitely the biggest financial market in uk right now after uk has you know um um uh, gone out of europe so you know if just a fun fact in here um uh, when you when britain was a part of european union okay london was the biggest financial market in europe okay because london is definitely a bigger city than frankfurt but after brexit happened and now britain is out of the out of the union now many companies are trying to go to frankfurt okay many financial companies and many big corporations and banks like barclays or uh, jp morgan chase and uh, you know what uh, bnp paribas all of them are trying to go to frankfurt because you know they want to stay in the union but they don't want to you know uh, stay in london as such that's why now frankfurt is starting to become much bigger city than london okay so if you if you wait for just four to five years frankfurt is definitely be, uh, going to become a bigger financial center than london it's allowed the yuan to trade in a wider trading range around the basket of currencies that include the dollar this is also true china is also responding to accusations of manipulation this is absolutely true Okay, the reason why China's, uh, China is the manufacturing hub of the world is because the Chinese Communist Party uh, interferes into the market and it keeps its own currency much lower than the US dollar so that it can export more things to the rest of the world. Okay, that's how it works. So Trump has said many times that China manipulates its currency. So he is absolutely true in that. Okay, uh, so you know, there are many things that I don't like about Trump, but he, sometimes he says things that are true. Okay. So this is true that China manipulates its own currency, okay? Most countries want their currency values to fall so that they can win the global currency wars. C countries with lower currency values export more since their products cost less when sold in foreign countries. Very true, okay? You have to understand how this works, okay? So as I said, Japan is not in a position to leverage this, okay? China is definitely in a position to leverage this because China is a developing economy and they want to export as much as possible. The more China exports, the more it is going to develop its own economy. So, so the last 25 years of China's economy, uh, economic growth has only and only been based on exports. Okay, so just imagine this: China is the manufacturing center of the entire world. In the coronavirus pandemic that is going on right now, the entire world is locked down. That's why, you know, supply chains are, you know, disrupted. That's why, you know, many, many things, literally from toothbrush to a car is manufactured in China. So China, you know, just cannot survive if it stops exporting to the rest of the world. And what does it need? to you know uh, keep on exporting to the rest of the world is lower currency that's why the chinese communist party the ccp tries to lower its currency as much as possible so that you know it can export uh, many things to the foreign uh, foreign countries china has held more than 1 trillion in us debt every year since 2010 just imagine this okay so for the last 10 years china is the biggest holder of us debt in the entire world that's when the us department of treasury changed how it measure, measures the debt before july 2010 Treasury reports uh, showed that China held 843 billion in debt. This makes it difficult to make long-term comparisons. So, China has been holding more and more debt in the last 10 years, okay? And it is going to hold more debt. So, right now, China literally owns almost 15 to 20% of America right now, okay? And this is just the debt. So look, just look at other things that are happening in uh, in the US, in the US-China trade war, okay? So to be honest with you, China definitely owns a major chunk of America right now, okay? China uh, literally can, uh, you know, bring the US to a standstill if it wants to, okay? How does it do that? Just we'll see that in the next paragraph. 
how china became one of america's biggest bankers okay a chinese government uses dollars it has on hand to buy treasuries okay chinese government uses it dollars it has to buy treasuries so treasuries are the treasury bills that are issued by the us treasury it receives these dollars from chinese companies that receive them as payments for their exports so just understand this okay how do how does this work right so uh, chinese companies like huawei okay huawei or uh, vivo or uh, what many of the chinese companies that export the alibaba thing they export uh, products or goods to the foreign countries then they get the um, then they get the you know payment in dollars uh, by, why in dollars because the dollar is the world's reserve currency so even if they export uh, you know goods to say many other countries like japan or russia or saudi arabia they will still get the payment in dollars okay just try to understand this because dollar is the world's reserve currency so many international transactions still happen in dollars okay so when they get the dollars the chinese companies they have to uh, you know uh, invest in, yeah they have to you know keep those dollars somewhere right so what they do is that they invest those dollars into the chinese government and Ch and if you know how china works in china you cannot have a company succeed unless you have the backing of the chinese communist party that's why you know they invest into the chinese communist party itself and that's why the uh, you know the uh, uh, the reserve of china of us dollars is growing and growing and growing and to be honest in the next 5 to 10 years china will own almost 60% of america okay that's not a laughing matter i mean this is really serious thing okay china is definitely trying to become the next superpower and right now by many terms it is the it is the superpower okay china's demand for treasuries helps keep us interest rates low it allows the us treasury to borrow more at low rates congress then can increase the federal spending that spurs us economic growth okay so <laughs> this is really interesting you know the the more china owns the more us growth can be spurred this is just pretty insane to be very honest with you but that's just how the world works nowadays you know like the more the china uh, you know keeps on uh, holding us debt the more us uh, will keep its interest rates low and the more it will it is going to spur us economic growth okay that's how crazy country america has become you know so they want foreign countries to keep more of their reserves they want foreign countries to you know just um, own most of their country so that they can you know keep on uh, you know investing more money into their country into us okay so you understand how this works like if china has more us treasury bills then china is going to invest more into america and that's that's what america wants so even if uh, they want to you know even if they they lose their own sovereignty us is fine with that but they want more business as i've always said us is all about business us is all about money making okay nothing else owning us treasury notes helps china's economic grow demand for dollar denominated bonds raises the dollar value compared to that of the yuan very true okay that makes chinese exports cheaper than american made goods increasing sales us consumers benefit from low consumer prices okay so china has its own self interest in keeping the yuan low as compared to the dollar and even america has its own self interest in keeping the dollar strong uh, against the yuan how does that work is because china is an export oriented economy and who who does it export most to to america and so when the uh, yuan is lower than dollar then the price of those goods in america is much lower okay and that's why the consumer culture in america just keeps on going like people buying things they don't need with the money they don't have uh, you know that kind of thing just keeps on going so that's why china and america are all in this together if china called called in its debt holding this is very interesting okay please uh, listen to this very carefully what will happen if china you know just uh, pays off it's all of it uh, like just you know it abandons all of its treasury holdings what is going to happen then just just try to understand this China's position as America's largest banker gives it some political leverage okay it is responsible for lower interest rates and cheap consumer goods if it called in its debt if, if it called in its debt what that means is if it you know just relinquishes all its debt us interest rates and prices would rise slowing us economic growth so if china decreases its us treasury reserves us economic growth is going to go, go down this is so interesting to understand okay on the other hand if china called in its debt all at once the demand for the dollar would plummet okay so tomorrow if china sells off all of its treasury bills then the demand for dollar will go down this dollar collapse would disrupt international markets even more than 2008 financial crisis okay just imagine this if the dollar demand is going to go down this is just normal supply and demand okay if china floods the market with us dollars okay then the demand for the dollar is going to go down the price of the dollar is going to go down and this is going to disrupt the international markets because dollar is the world's reserve currency that's why china's economy would suffer along with everyone else's okay so that's why china is not doing this you understand now 
okay china if china starts selling all the us treasury bills then the entire world economy will come to a standstill okay the, so america is definitely going to suffer a big time because of that because you know right now american dollar is very strong and that's why you know america is holding its ground but if tomorrow china floods the market with us dollars then uh, after that you know american economy will definitely tank no matter what okay but then even china is going to suffer because after that what will happen is that uh you know uh, the yuan for it to become a reserve currency of the world it is going to take time okay so until that time there is not going to be any reserve currency so both these countries need each other for the trade war you, i just want i want you to understand this okay it is not that plain and simple as you know just trump saying that i'm going to impose tariffs and china saying that you know we are going to you know retaliate on that it's not that simple okay it, it is much complicated than that if china ever did call in its debt it slowly would begin selling off its treasury holdings so if china starts selling selling the treasury holdings like you know on a gradual basis however even at a slow play, pace demand dollar demand would drop so even if it starts low, uh, you know selling the us treasuries at a smaller pace the demand for dollar is definitely going to drop okay that would hurt china's competitiveness by rising the yuan's value relative to the dollar okay so then china's currency will start rising okay and dollar will start depreciating at some point uh, us consumers would buy american products instead okay so just understand this is very very interesting topic okay so what will happen is that when yuan is going to rise up and dollar is going to go down then uh, the trump's dream of make america great again or you know america first that is going to come true okay because when dollar is depreciating then many companies will shift their locations to us okay they will start manufacturing in the us because the cost of manufacturing is much lower because the international value of dollar is much lower okay that's why the uh, you know uh, many manufacturing companies will stop operating in china okay and then they will come to america and then they will start producing locally so to be very honest with you if uh, chinese communist party does not manipulate its currency okay then uh, you know uh, trump is going to benefit out of it okay so if chinese government you know st- keeps its currency free flow free float then yuan is going to rise and dollar is going to come down okay and then uh, uh, you know trump will get elected again because all trump's agenda is that you know you have to just ma- keep manufacturing in america and that's when th- that is going to happen okay uh, so China could start this process only after it further expanded its exports to other Asian countries and increased domestic demand. So just imagine this. You know this is a very 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 interesting article. Okay, um, imagine this. China could start this process only after it expanded its export to other Asian countries. Why is that? Because China right now exports the most amount of goods to America. Okay, so right now the highest amount, the you know the biggest exporter, uh, the biggest importer of goods from China is America. Okay, but. if uh, if china is able to find other asian markets okay or other markets in the entire world like say africa latin america or say other asian countries as its export partners or say india right then it is going to you know uh, stop uh, exporting many things to america and then at that time you know it can uh, stop manipulating its own currency it can let its currency rise okay so that you know uh, the dollar can depreciate and then you know it can it can play its cards very well at that point okay uh, and increase its domestic demand okay and also another point is that what if china increase increase its own domestic demand so china's population is very big right it's like 1.4 billion people what if china just starts increasing its own domestic demand so by domestic demand what it means is that you know china is producing goods in its own country and its, and people are consuming in its own country okay they don't need to export it to anybody else okay so what that is going to uh, uh, make sure is that china will not need the us dollar anymore okay so this is just happening gradually in the entire world okay as i've always said the future is asian that's why if the largest consumer base in the entire world is going to be in asia then it doesn't make sense for a uh, chinese communist party to you know uh, interfere into the financial dealings of china and manipulate the currency so that they can keep the currency low as opposed to the dollar okay just try to understand this is a, this is a very important topic in the world markets okay people and there are very few people who really even understand how this works okay china's debt holder strategy is working understand this okay why does china own all the debt because it is working china's low cost competitive strategy worked its economy often grew more than 10% for the three decades before the 2008 recession as of 2018 it's growing at almost 7% a more sustainable rate okay so because china owned so much debt us debt okay that's why it uh, its economy grew by 
okay uh, for three decades before the 2008 recession okay so the debt strategy of china is working that's just what it uh, goes on to say china has become the largest economy in the world outpacing the united states and the european union so right now in terms of purchasing power parity china is definitely the biggest economy in the entire world okay no doubt about that china also become became the world's biggest exporter in 2010 as i said china is the manufacturing hub of the world you know each and every small thing in the entire world comes from china okay that's why the coronavirus pandemic has literally disrupted the entire world china needs this growth to raise its low standard of living remember this okay china needs this growth china needs this exports to increase its low standard of living but understand this if the standard of living in china starts increasing then uh, you know china will not need that anymore okay so then at that point china is just going to you know uh, uh, st- stop interfering into the financial markets of china and then the yuan will rise up and dollar will go down and yuan will be the next global currency okay just wait for 5 to 10 years and this is just going to happen for these reasons expect china to continue to be one of world's largest holders of us debt okay this is absolutely true so that's why china is just going to keep on buying us debt as if there's no tomorrow china is just going to keep on g- gaining more and more share of the us economy and us government more and more as years go by and to be honest by 2030 china will literally own the entire of america okay that's just my honest prediction because what is happening is that you know china owning the debt is beneficial for america and for china okay that's why uh, you know uh, us government is just going to encourage china to own more and more debt and when china starts owning almost the entire debt of america you understand how this works china will literally just run america at that point okay so it's just a matter of time that china will own the entire of america because china right now owns much of america right now okay so as as was explained in this article so you know this was my analysis of how exactly china owns us because you know you see many people talk about this okay i have seen many many people uh, talk about how exactly china owns america but nobody goes into the details of what exactly that means and that's why i wanted to make this video to you know uh, give you guys an example of what exactly that means okay so if you like this video please don't forget to like comment share and please subscribe uh, to my channel because subscriptions really tell me that you know you guys are liking my content and uh, see you next time thank you have a good day bye bye